Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Belenique. As you can see, I'm sporting a new hairdo. I'm quite enjoying my little fringe that I had cut yesterday. I'm quite excited for winter to have a nice little cute look. I don't know how well it'll go in summertime, but we'll see. For now, I'm quite enjoying it. What I do in this space is I test makeup for mature skin. I go out and I buy the makeup. I put it on in front of the camera so that you can see what the application looks like and how well it wears throughout the day. Because I don't know about you, but I have found that makeup that served me really well in my 20s and 30s no longer served me too well today. So in today's video, I am going to be testing out two foundations from the Fenty Beauty range. I went and got two samples of the two different um, foundations. The first one that we're going to have a chat about is the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation and then the next one is the soft lit naturally luminous longwear foundation so without any further chit chat let's get into this video so today I'm going to prime half of my face with the elf Paulus primer I've chosen this one specifically because it is a silicone based primer and the foundation is silicone based so they should play quite well together I got my one off of musebeauty.co.za but I know that they're also available on Take A Lot here in South Africa. For the foundation I am using shade 170. There are 50 shades to choose from. I applied my shade on the back of my hand and then um, with a spatula as you can see and blended it in with a brush today. I found that the blending process did take a bit of time on the side where there is no um, primer. So while that blending is happening I can just tell you a little bit about the product. So the product is a long wear foundation, it's matte. It is supposed to give you an instantly smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish that seems to build easily from medium to full coverage. I did find that this did build quite nicely. Product also says that it is climate adaptive and it is resistant to sweat and humidity and won't clog the pores so that wherever you are it's going to work on your skin. It says also on the website, best of all it's as light as air, long wear pro filter foundation is undetectable on skin so you always look like you. sides of the face done so what I'm going to do now is just do a couple little touch-ups and see if I can just cover those little blemishes that bother me then I'm going to go and do my makeup for the day and then we will see what this looks like in natural light Here I am in natural light. I will say this does not look very natural for me. It doesn't look light as air and like my skin. To me, it looks like I'm wearing quite a bit of makeup. Um, end of day check-in after nine hours. Let's zoom in and have a look. Product settled into my fine lines and I was not very impressed with the um, finish of this to towards the end of the day. I found that it really did emphasize my pores and my texture. So this was definitely not a winner for me. Next one up is the um, Fenty Soft Lip and um, this is my little sample and I got it in the shade 185. When I tested this out in the store, when she put it on my skin it looked absolutely stunning so I'm so excited to try the Soft Lip. Um, everybody that I've seen use it online, the skin looks incredible but I haven't seen a wear test so let's see how well this actually works on a mature skin. So first what I'm going to do as I did with the um, Pro filter is I'm going to just prep and prime half of my face with the e.l.f. Um, Paula's Putty Primer. The reason why I'm using the e.l.f. Primer is because it is an oil-based primer um, and the Fenty foundation is oil-based as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to pop that on my skin. <music> prepped and primed I'm just going to clean my little spatula and I'm going to now try our foundation so I was recommended in the store to use a brush not a um, dampened beauty sponge because of the fact that this is not water-based so taking a little brush 
I'm just going to pop it on the back of my hand, just like I did the other one, using my spatula. Pop it on. They say a little goes a long way. So let's see how we go. Okay, moment of truth, let's blend. side by side it is a medium coverage foundation and gosh I really like what that looks like um, it looks like there's a filter on my skin gosh that looks beautiful all right let's do the other side according to the website this is a long wear medium coverage foundation that gives golden hour glow in a bottle it hydrates brightens and improves skin tone both instantly and over time while resisting sweat humidity and transfer lightweight formula instantly reduces the appearance of shine to glow a notch above natural that is one single application on my face um i think for me personally right from the get-go first impression um i quite enjoy what this foundation oh there's a little hair what this foundation looks like on the side that is primed only because my pores don't look as exaggerated um just on the the cheek but I've got a tiny little bit left on my hands. So I just want to just pop a little bit. On those areas that need a tiny bit more coverage. But you know me, I like something that is medium. I'm not a massive full coverage fan. The shade is absolutely fantastic. It is an absolute Color match for me, I'm really very happy. I'm sure I mentioned it in the beginning. I think it is 185. There are 50 shades to choose from. I would recommend that if you can get to an arc, go in and let them shade match you. Um, very, very pretty. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and finish off my makeup and then we will have a look and see what this foundation looks like in natural light. Okay, here we go, we're in natural light. Um, I saw the hairdresser yesterday, so that is where the fringe came from. It was um, clipped back earlier. Um, so here we are. I've done my makeup, um, and oh my gracious, I have incredibly high hopes for this foundation. It just looks like I'm having the most incredible skin day. Um, the other products play very well with it, and um, it looks incredibly, incredibly natural, which I just love. Um, oh, it's beautiful. Let's just hope that this lasts. So I'll do maybe two check-ins today. Maybe I'll do a lunchtime check-in and I'll do an end-of-day check-in. It is now about quarter past nine in the morning. So I'll see you around about lunchtime, about one-ish or so. Um, yeah, let's see how we go today. A quick little on-the-go check-in. It is now 20 past two in the afternoon. I'm sitting in the car. I've been out and about. And gosh, skin is looking lovely really really pretty still hasn't separated which is quite nice to see look on the forehead yep looking pretty good so yeah it's looking like a good one see you later back for my last check-in of the day it is now just gone six o'clock in the evening it is five past six and I've had this foundation on for about nine hours and for long wear I think that that's a pretty good uh, test. So let me zoom you in and let's have a look what my skin looks like. Okay, zoomed right in. So for the most part, I am very, very happy with how my skin has performed today. Every time that I have caught myself in the mirror, I have thought, oh my gracious, my skin looks divine. The foundation has separated a little bit over my 11s um, and it hasn't settled too, too badly in my um, forehead lines. The product seems to do a lot better with a primer than without. The side of my face still looks pretty good, I would say. Um, the side of my face here, there is a little bit of separation. But for the most part, gosh, skin looks fabulous. 
So my final thoughts, I must say that I have enjoyed wearing this foundation today. I really do enjoy what my skin still looks like nine hours after the application. I love the fact that the product has not oxidized at all. The color that I put on this morning is exactly the same as what you see now. I really, really like that. I will say that it works well with a primer as opposed to without a primer. For me, I also enjoyed what the application felt like. It was a lot smoother on the primer than it was on my bare skin. So my skin type is combination. I have an oily tea pad and the product stayed really well there it'd be very interesting to see how well it lasts during the summer months but for today's winter day which was quite a nice warmish day it performed really really well product is quite expensive it's 800 rand for the bottle but I think if you've got the money I would definitely recommend it it's a really lovely lovely foundation I definitely preferred it over the Pro Filter. For me, the Pro Filter felt like there was something quite thick and heavy on my skin, and I did not enjoy how it performed on my mature skin. So for me, it's not one that I would recommend. Well, that is it. If there is a foundation or a product that you would like me to test, won't you let me know down in the comments, and I'll see what I can do about that. But for now, that's it. That is everything from me for this evening. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It would be so awesome to have you as part of the community. And that's it. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.